Kalamba Review Center Laguna is offering online CPA review. For more information about LCRC's online CPA review, pakibasa na lang ng nakalagay sa description box below. Weighted Average Periodic The Weighted Average Unit Cost is multiplied by the units on hand to derive the inventory value. The weighted average unit cost is computed by dividing the total goods available for sale or TIGAS expressed in pesos and the total number of units available for sale or yung total goods available per sale expressed in units. So, kapag weighted average periodic, we have to compute natin yung tinatawag na weighted average unit cost. And yung weighted average cost na yun is yun yung imumultiply natin to the units on hand para ma-derive natin yung inventory value. So, pag in-express natin yan um, into formula ending inventory in pesos is equal to weighted average weighted average unit cost times ending inventory express in units. Ayan. Ending inventory is equal to weighted average unit cost times ending inventory. Para makuha natin yung value ng ending inventory. And yung weighted Average unit cost para makompute siya weighted average unit cost is equal to total goods available for sale expressed in pesos and Total goods available for sale express in units. Okay. Ang weighted average periodic is gumagamit siya ng weighted average unit cost para ma-determine yung value ng inventory at the end of reporting period. And to compute yung weighted average unit cost, Weighted average cost is equal to total goods available for sale expressed in pesos and total goods available for sale expressed in units. It should be emphasized na ang weighted average unit cost is applicable lang siya kapag periodic inventory system ang ginagamit. Pag perpetual inventory system na yung ginagamit, hindi na natin pwedeng gamitin itong formula na to dahil ang applicable doon ay yung tinatawag na moving average method which is um, sa kanila natin pag-uusapan dahil nakafocus tayo ngayon sa weighted average periodic. Okay. Illustration weighted average periodic method. Okay. So, ito yung problem na ginamit din natin in illustrating the FIFO method. So, same given, pero ang gagawin natin is compute the following using the weighted average periodic method. Number one, inventory as of January 31. And number two, cost of sales. Ngayon, Kapag hindi naka-mention yung system ng inventory, so let's say, et lang yung nakita natin, wait, compute the following using the weighted average method. 
So, ang assumption, yan ay weighted average, periodic. And kapag naman ang ginamit niya term ay compute the following using the moving average, yun ay perpetual, which is sakala natin pag-uusapan. Dahil nakafocus na tayo sa weighted average, periodic. Number one, inventory as of January 31. So, kukumpute natin yung ending inventory. How to compute the ending inventory kapag weighted average? Ending inventory is equal to weighted average unit cost times ending inventory in units. Okay, kukumpute muna natin yung ending inventory in units. Ending inventory in units... So, ito, beginning plus purchase minus sale plus purchase 20,000. Purchase return, yan ay minus sale, sale 8,000, sale return, so ito ay plus Sale return plus 4,000, purchase 30,000 units. So, ending inventory natin ay 50,000 units. Okay. Meron na tayong ending inventory in units, which is 50,000. Pero ang tanong niya kasi is value ng inventory. As of January 31, so, kailangan natin compute yung weighted average unit cost. Which is, weighted average unit cost is equal to TGAS pesos divided by TGAS units. So, magkocompute ulit tayo ng TGAS na pesos and TGAS in units. Okay, so, dito na lang sa space dito. We have units dahil kailangan natin ma-determine yung units in TGAS and yung um, amount. Okay. Beginning. Beginning balance. Units ay 16. 16,000 Total cost is 2.24 million Add Net purchases Net Purchases Okay, sa units Net purchases expressed in units ay 4,000 Ano pa? 20,000 Purchase return So considered ba to? Yes, considered yan Minus 1,000 Ano pa? Purchase 30 units 30,000 units Ayan 4 plus 20 minus 1 plus 30 net purchases expressed in units i 53000 net purchases expressed in amount so 600 Ano pa? Plus 3.2 million Less Purchase return Plus 4.5 million Net purchases expressed in amount I 8.14 million 
total goods available for sale. So, units, express in units is 69,000. 16 plus 53 equals 69. 2.24 plus 8.14. That is 10 million. 380,000 Okay, meron na tayong tigas in pesos which is 10.38 Tigas in units is 69,000 Madedetermine na natin yung weighted average unit cost So, weighted average unit cost Ayan, na lang Weighted average Unit cost is equal to tigas in pesos 10.38 million divided by tigas in units 69,000. Weighted average unit cost ay 153, 150.43 pesos. So, yan ay rounded. Okay, kompleto na. Meron ng weighted average unit cost. Meron na rin tayong ending inventory in units. So, madadetermine na natin yung inventory as of January 31. Ending inventory is equal to weighted average unit cost, which is ito, 150.43 times the ending inventory na 50,000 units. 150.43 times 50,000 units ang sagot sa number 1 ay 7,521,500 So, answer sa number 1 is 7,521,500 pesos Ending inventory as of January 31. Okay, question number 2. Cost of sales for the month of January. Okay, meron na tayong ending inventory. So, tutuloy na lang natin to to cost of sales. Tigas. Pagkatapos ng tigas ay ending inventory 50,000 units tapos ang amount niya ay 7,521,500 therefore cost of sales ay in units 19,000 units in amount 10.380 minus 7,521,500 that is 2,858,500 okay answer for number 2 is 2,858,500 500